Welcome to the training for Mediterranean users of sea surface temperature products that are developed and distributed through the Copernicus Marine Environment Monitoring Service. This training is organized as a Python notebook that will allow users to visualize example maps and time series of sea surface temperature over the Mediterranean. And it is based, it, it is organized in two different examples uh, that will be looking at different data sets. So the first example will be uh, looking at uh, uh, SST data uh, collected by multiple sensors that are bias adjust and put together into a single image. They're called Super Collated Merge Multisensor SST Level 3S. And um, you find here a brief introduction to how the, the, the product is obtained, but you can get full information by clicking on this link, which will lead you to the uh, catalog page on the web of uh, Copernicus, where you, you can. Uh, directly view the product, or download product and read the documentations, check the news flash and so on. Uh, we also provide references to the uh, papers providing full details on the algorithms that have been used to produce this data, but also direct links to the product user manual and to the quality information documents that are uh, describing uh, format of the data and uh, how you can get them, how they are obtained and, and so on. The second example will be focus, focused on uh, showing time series of uh, SST extracted from the interpolated data that are produced in near real time uh, over the MET and again first provide a brief introduction to the to the product itself and it, a link to the full information you can get on the on the catalog and again a link to the papers describing the algorithms and so on. This notebook is aimed at allowing users to experience the, the full, uh, let's say, uh, um, process from downloading the data to visualizing them in Python. So there's different ways to access and download data in, uh, from produced by Copernicus. We will be using here a specific service that is called Moto. So we will have to install a, a dedicated package which is called Moto Client in, in unless you have already it already on your machine. And uh, then we provide the, the command you have to execute uh, to, to download uh, one file from this specific um, product and uh, data set that we are looking at in this first example. Of course access to Siemens data is totally free but you need to register as a user so we, you will need your username and password to uh, execute this command uh, successfully. In our case here we we have already downloaded the data, so we will go on in the in this uh, notebook, and we will show you that there's some comments here that are meant just to check if the data have, are present in, in the input directory, in the input folder for the notebook, which is the case here already. Similar thing for the second exercise, which will be downloading data from uh, a different product as we said. And um, again we can go on and check if everything is fine. And then we can concentrate on the first exercise which is meant to plot just one image 
of the level from taken from the level 3s data set to do that you will have to uh, verify that your python version is at least uh, uh, version 3.7 in case this is not you will have to update your python uh, version to to this one otherwise the the following commands will not be working fine and then there's additional modules that you need to have installed in your machine to, to run this experiment. Uh, most of them are quite standard, but in case you don't have all of them, you can still very easily uh, install them in your, in your environment, in your Python environment. So now you, we can start importing the modules that are needed to run this exercise. This is done very, very easily just by going on on the display button here. The first commands are all aiming to, I mean, they're just producing or checking if all the patterns of the, um, the folders have been uh, uh, created correctly, which is uh, actually the case here. And then we finally access the first uh, the first file dataset file, and as you see here, um, the the products in CMEMS they are delivered as netcdf files. Netcdf it's a standard uh, data uh, format, let's say, and um, there's there's uh, tools to to deal with the netcdf in different languages, which are already uh, quite well developed. So there are self-consistent data sets. There's uh, variable names already defined and uh, attributes of different kinds that are provided together with the data set. So if we look at the info about the data set that has been just uh, checked here, you get several information uh, global attributes and I want to stress here that actually the 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 format that is uh, used for the SST products over the Mediterranean is uh, CF compliant. So there's additional conventions with respect to uh, simply using CDF files, and uh, there's also uh, compliance with respect to the global high resolution uh, sea surface temperature. Uh, group, which is a network uh, defining common common uh, uh, protocols for all SSD products around the world, uh, so produced by very different agencies. And we can go on and 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 see that in these files we have downloaded, uh, we will be looking at. Uh, uh, I mean, we 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 have. Uh, as available variables that have been downloaded. Uh, one variable which is called easily sea surface temperature, but we also have quality level source of SST and we have uh, a, a, variables that, a variable that is called adjust sea surface temperature that is the one we will be plotting first, which means the, this is the sea surface temperature uh, coming from different sensors after adjusting eventual biases among the sensors. So this is the most usable variable uh, within a level 3S uh, data set. We go on. So um, we set the configuration for, for the plot. We will be looking at this adjusted sea surface temperature as I was telling you, but you will be able to just comment this line and uncomment this other line uh, and and run additional experiments just to see the difference between what you would get without adjusting the bias among the different sensors. And then we have the commands that allow you to plot the variables. So there's definitions of uh, areas and again you will be able in, during your exercises to just concentrate on subset, or I mean sub-area, sub-domains, just by un uh, uncommenting these lines and putting the extremes of the region you're interested in, 
here and commenting this other here and then and then we can now uh, look at sorry I skipped this I guess okay now we see the 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 image we have downloaded of course you see many data gaps here because this is a level 3s but still there's um, not always a full coverage by at least one sensor over the entire domain you have clouds and, uh, and so this is the the image you can you can get and as I was telling you you can play with this uh, with this come uh, with this exercise and change the area um, change the the range you want to, to highlight of the values of temperature you're interested in and so on and also change the variable to verify the impact sensor bias adjustment uh, that is carried out before merging. So the second exercise is aiming to show you how to plot time series of data. So again, we can we can uh, we can run the exercise. Same modules are needed to to run it. Uh, so we, we go fast here. These are repeated uh, in, in the second exercise to allow users that are not interested in looking at the map or to uh, to to run uh, to run the first example. So the two examples are uh, self consistent. And, um, so I'm I'm not commenting much on this first part. Again, we access the data. We look at the info we get. Um, in this case we downloaded a time series over two different points so we will be comparing one, one uh, time, seri time series uh, located in, in the Ionian Sea and one in the Tyrrhenian Sea we go on and so now we get uh, the information on, on the location, the precise information on the location that has been extracted here and again then we convert these two data sets into a panda data frame just for uh, having an easier data set to handle and we can now have a, a look directly at the data, just printing, uh, printing this uh, this uh, easy, easy in this easy way. We can we can look at the directly at the data. As you see, all values of temperature they are uh, sh uh, stored and uh, and plotted in Kelvin. So you will need to, to convert them to Celsius if you want to use Celsius as a unit the, this is easily done in the in the Python commands above and um, so we can also have some uh, summary statistics which are easily provided uh, once you're working with the pandas data frame so we can see how many points uh, in time we are looking at, uh, what is their mean, what is the standard deviation, the minimum value, and the uh, percentiles and the maximum and so on. And then we can compute monthly averages. This is done again simply by using a resample command. I mean, that's quite straightforward. And uh, you can now decide you want to save this data in C in uh, CSV format. Again, that's that's easily done. You can change the name as, as you prefer, and you do that by running these commands. And then you finally can plot the data you you've downloaded. And uh, so the, that's the start and then date of the data we've downloaded and what you get is 
a nice uh, plot with the temperature values in, in the two locations here. And again, you have some options you can uh, easily uh, activate for the second exercise. For example, uh, you can uh, decide you want to see the, the monthly means, and then you will have to uncomment the these lines here, as uh, it is explained in, uh, in, in this cell. Or you can change the start and end date uh, range to plot just uh, one year, for example. And so that's basically the second example we will provide. So this, I will stop my my brief uh, presentation of, of this notebook. I hope this will help users to uh, access more easily and play a little.